So last weekend, there was this huge drama on Twitter. Apparently, hip hop heads were arguing about Nigerian rappers and foreign rappers. Some say, hey, Nigerian rappers are way better than American rappers. Others were like, hell no, American rappers still remain the template, the best of the best when it comes to hip hop worldwide. So, what, first of all, what even started this at the end of the day? I mean, the question should be why is it that, you know, it's always Nigerian rappers that are being compared to American rappers? We are Nigerians. Why, 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 why haven't we seen people compare Nigerian RB singers to American RB singers or dancehall artists or other genres? Why is it always hip hop? Why is it that rappers in Nigeria or rappers in general kind of come off petty and always feel as if, you know, they, 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 they are entitled to everything in life. To an elevated status. You understand? I think, you know, we should focus on hip-hop in this region. Now, hip-hop is universal, right? True. We have issues with hip-hop in Nigeria, definitely. Issues with hip-hop in the US, different issues. But I don't see any comparison. I don't see any comparison when you are appealing to a local market, right? While Americans are also appealing to the local markets, it's just that the hip-hop in America has transcended and is so big, it has filtered into other markets. We are hoping Nigerian hip-hop also gets to that level. Okay, but yeah, that's like a political answer, but I'm putting you on the spot right now. Nigerian rappers, American rappers. Do you think Nigerian rappers are actually better than American rappers? See, I'll tell you something, right? It boils down to this. It's hip-hop. It's not rap. Right? It's the culture rap music, music. Rap music is an element of hip-hop. Hip-hop has at least about maybe seven or eight elements, right? There's rap music, there's DJing, there's graffiti, there's beatboxing, there's b-boying, what we know as breakdancing, yeah. there's knowledge, and there's entrepreneurialism. These are elements of hip-hop. How many elements do you see Nigerian rappers exhibit as hip-hop music creators? Okay. You understand what I'm saying? That That's man. the thing. So see, hip-hop is a culture. Rap is an element under hip hop. If you only do rap and you say you're a hip hop artist, then you come off a bit weak. You understand? So why do I? Why would I say the American hip hop culture is way bigger? Because they express the culture on a very, very large scale. Hip hop here is still growing. I mean, hip hop here, the 90s. How many years? Has it been up to 20 years? Not yet. Less than 20 years. Junior and Pretty came out in the mid 90s. There was a couple of buzz going on in the late 80s. So we are not big enough, the industry is not even big enough, the culture is not even big enough to compete against what? American rappers. If you want to put it pound for pound, list all the Nigerian rappers, list all the American rappers. You will have two, three times more than the Nigerian rappers. So who are better? Yeah, okay, you said something about Nigerian uh, hip hop culture being young and everything. Yeah. But let's take a look at South Africa. South yeah. Africa's hip hop culture is still young, but we know it's not the benchmark in Africa. But South Africa's music industry is way advanced, way advanced than Nigeria's music industry. You know, as much as we have people who have, you know, been successful in hip hop in Nigeria, talk about the likes of the MIs, the Ice Prince, the Mode Nines, you understand? When you talk about the South African music industry, please, these guys are way ahead from royalties to signing publishing deals to, you understand, to creating label structures. We don't still have that in Nigeria. Do we have labels in Nigeria? No. We've had this conversation before. Yeah. No. All we have are a group of people who believe in other artists, invest in these artists and yield their money back. But there's no infrastructure in this country. So it is hard for you even to start creating that, you know, setup. For yourself as a rapper okay so why is it so hard for us to create a hip-hop culture other countries have done it england is a massive hip-hop culture south africa we said is a hip-hop culture even north africa have a massive massive hip-hop culture it's going to happen see what happened right we've been influenced by the western region it means that all the rappers that came in the 90s of course all you know uh uh, uh will i say simulated or kind of you know Picked, referenced a lot of tracks from the Biggies, the Jay Z's, the Nas, the Mob Deeps, um, you know, and the rest. So those are the kind of hip hop we're liking, right? Now there's been a transition into the local region, the Olami days, the Reminis, the, Finos. the Finos, you understand, the Base Ones, all these guys mixing local dialects with what? Beats. Even even look at Mi came in 2009. Now. You could listen to Mode 9 back in 2002, 2003, 04, 05, right? And understand that this guy, purely English speaking, the concept was crazy. Even though he delved into Nigerian no, topics, topics, but it was English, right? And you need to be on an elevated status to actually listen and understand. understand. Someone like MI came and just broke it down, made the average Nigerian understand what he was saying. Made it very trendy. You understand? So we are still in that process. You mentioned names right now. How many people can match up to the kind of hip-hop that is going on in the US? Drake. 
Now, this is not just pound for pound lyricism. It's everything from his label to his crews to the brand that he has sold. I see what Nigerian artists and Nigerian rappers are doing here. It's good. We can commend them. But have they gotten to that level yet? Have they gotten to the level that they can command 10,000 people? Only one person, 10,000 people. Not yet. Some people feel that Nigerian rappers are lazy. They don't want to put in work. And they of feel course, like you, have, to... you have to talk about the work rate in Nigeria. Nigerian rappers, the average Nigerian rapper is a lazy guy. He's looking for that one hit song, like a whiskey, so he can, in quotes, blow. blow. And he's trying to appeal to whiskey's market. So the Nigerian rapper is not even educated enough to understand that my target audience is different from a pop artist target audience or a dancehall artist target audience. He puts himself in the same box and tries to compete with those people. If I'm an upcoming rapper right now and I'm aspiring, I can't be comparing myself to Orezi's fans. Because Orezi's fans want to listen to pop music, I should be looking for my target audience. Okay, now the internet has helped us. You don't need any labels right now. An artist who's coming out, all you need is funding and investment, right? Yeah. If you can set up yourself and focus on promoting yourself on social media, promoting yourself on the internet, and canvassing and creating a cult following from there, boom, you're good to go. You understand? So work on the brand, not just the music. The production isn't still as great as what we're hearing in the US. So why are we even making this comparison? Okay, let's let's look at the fans right now. A lot of people say Nigerian fans are very hard to please, and especially when it comes to rap. Do you think Nigerian fan, rap fans are to blame? Because a lot of rap fans say, I love rap. But when it's time to get that album, put that money where the mouth is, they disappear. I don't think so. I think you can sell any content to anybody. It's just how you sell it. Like I said, take it away from the music, work on your brand. Didn't MI sell records? Yeah. Right? Is Olamide not selling records? Selling my Fino Health, Fino Fest in the East. I shut it down. It shut it down. You understand? It's reminiscent it's not shutting it down in the, in the any state it goes in the southwest and they're shutting it down. Yeah. So it means these things can actually sell. But talk about it. How many of these pop stars, even the pop singers, leave the rappers, how many of these pop singers are selling records? So it's the same thing. You understand? Of course, hip hop is not the biggest genre in Nigeria. You have pop music, they're just Nigerian pop music. You have Fuji, you, you even have gospel music. Hip hop is like fourth or fifth genre. It's not big. Unlike in the US where it seems to be one of the biggest, hip hop has dominated, has, has kicked rock rock music away. And it took time for you to get there. It took time, it took about 30 something years. So we are still in that process. Here's what Nigerian rappers need to do. Go back to the studio and walk really walk your ass off right you can't drop one song or two songs in a year and expect us to bump what are we bumping to in the age where everybody is, there's short attention span and everybody's moving yeah, on are dropping two albums in a year. walk your mixtapes out feature drops three four records and that's why i respect olamide a lot because he churns out the music every year you understand mi has just dropped his third mixtape that's a big feat for him yeah. that's what we need people to go back to the studio and walk leave twitter alone stop talking about i mean just focus on the music that's that's the most important thing your work rate must increase simple okay before you mention mi mi said uh, that it's better than 85 95 percent of yankee rappers what, what are your thoughts on this mi is a talent i've always said it mi is a creative genius right when it comes to making music when it comes to rhyming the scheme composing in, in fact even featuring people He's a genius. Probably the it. best, yeah. One of the best, probably the best. Look at Illegal Music 2, still my favorite MI mixtape ever. Brilliant piece of work. You know, bringing artists on, sampling music. It's, it's brilliant. Same thing he did with Chairman Album. Also, a lot of collaborati awesome. collaborative efforts. You know, something like what Kanye did on The Life of Pablo. Yeah. Okay, but do I agree with him that saying he's better than 95% of rappers? Nah, I don't agree. Maybe not 95%. A lot. The percentage is high, but not 95%. Because I can call a lot of rappers who filled in that 95% that had pound for pound would throw MI out of the ring. True that, true that. So what else do you think is wrong with Nigerian hip-hop culture? How many rap crews do you have in Nigeria? Off the head. Why I mean, BNL? Why BNL? One rap crew. Only one rap crew in the whole of Nigeria. It's a problem. How do you get to find out, oh, these are the new rappers on the stage? No cosigns. When last, apart from M.I., maybe Terry the Rap Man, when last was a major hip-hop artist in Nigeria? When last did he co-sign another artist and say, oh, I just found out about this guy because this guy tweeted about him or talked about him or put him on a track yeah. or a record? It's rare. It's rare, right? We see this happen in U.S. all the time. Designer, new guy on Kanye's exactly. video. He's out there. He's on the, on the mixtape. From there, he's blowing up. And that's how we get to see... And he too, not carrying all that people. Another, 
Recross signs who who co-signs Recross? Jiga. Jiga. Jiga co-signs Recross. Recross has Wale, McMill, Starly, Gunplay, Rocky Fresh. That's how it works. So the guys at the top, I don't know why they have chosen not to co-sign a lot of upcoming artists, but that's why we can't discover new people. If there's a lot of heat around you, you bring new people around you so people will discover them. That is a very major problem. So no co-signs, no rap crews in the country. Lyrically, let's even let's let's break it down. There are some great Nigerian lyricists in this country. No doubt. Right? But when half of the hip-hop artists in this country are chasing the next pop sound, the next tumba, the next tumba music, how will I now compare you to the guys in the US? You know there are some guys in the US that people don't even know at all, and they will just kill, lyrically kill every rapper in Nigeria. So for MI to say 95%, he's absolutely wrong. So you're saying like Nigerian rappers have an identity problem in general? Definitely major identity problem because they don't even know who they want to appeal to. In fact, they don't even like calling themselves hip-hop artists anymore. They just say they're an artist. Because, see, hip-hop in Nigeria, like I've said, big problem. No class when it comes to genre, right? We don't have any hip-hop shows in this country. There was one last year, AQD something. No, no, but that's a one-off show. I'm talking about weekly show, monthly shows. Show. Yeah. Where you have industry nights, you have all these guys. Where are the hip-hop shows, you know, just created for hip-hop fans in the country? Does it we don't have. They don't exist. The last one I can remember was Club Rock Away. And died Shout out away. to Dr. G, HNIC, right? And he died off. After, that was even before Industry Night. That was exist. before Industry Night existed. We're talking about 2007, 2008, yes. then 2009, yes. before Industry Night came in 2000, late 2009, 2010. We we're talking about that. Where are the hip hop shows? Where are the rap shows on radio? They, they mix every genre together. So you're yeah, listening to pop music, then you're listening to rap music. So the rapper believes that, man, if they play this guy's song after my song, this is where I need to be. How many hip hop shows on TV? None. How many hip hop websites in Nigeria dedicated to hip hop? None. Only a few. Mainstream none, but. But you understand? Only a lot of underground hip hop. Where are the hip hop websites? That's the problem. We have an identity crisis. Hip hop has an identity crisis. Until that can be fixed, we're wasting our time. Okay, one more thing. I've noticed that in Yankee, DJs are very, very influential in terms of spreading hip hop music. But in Nigeria, we have more pop DJs than hip-hop Because DJs. the pop DJ wants to appeal, mm, not even the pop DJ, the DJ wants to appeal to what? He wants to appeal to the mass audience. The mass audience are not necessarily hip-hop fans. The mass audience wants to hear big pop music, right? And that's the problem. So it's simple. So why would I, as a DJ, now start playing hip-hop records where nobody's dancing? Nobody's going to call me for shows, right? Major problem. But like I've always said, there's always a niche market. If you have hip hop DJs that are just dedicated towards hip hop, you will always get shows, you always get gigs, and you always become popular and prominent because you are only serving what a specific audience and a niche a niche market. But nobody's, you know, everybody's scared. Nobody has the balls to do that. Everyone has to go to the mass market. Yeah. Okay. Final note: What is the way forward? How do we develop this hip hop culture and make it very buoyant, make it very vibrant that we don't need to compare ourselves with what's happening in Yankee or in South Africa? Educate yourself. It is very, very important. Just because you are an artist, you are a rapper, doesn't mean you shouldn't educate yourself. Understand the rudiments. What is hip hop? How do I sell my brand? What are the elements I need to have on my team? What are the elements I need to learn? Who are the people I need to have on my team? Do I need a DJ? Do I need a hype man? If you are a rapper in 2016 and you step on the stage alone, I don't believe in you. Jay Z said it. We don't believe you. You need more people. Where's your hype man? Where are the people that believe in you? Do you understand? Where is the movement? Drake is with OVO, Olamide is with YBNL, Emma is with Chalk City. If you just come on stage and it's only you, I don't really believe your movement. So understand the rudiments, understand this is what I need to do to build my brand. I need to get a DJ, probably a hype man. I need to understand, I need to get a manager, a PR. Look at Charlie, I mean these guys, uh, Payback and Boogie. They've dropped individual mixtapes. They sat Thanks together, together, they've done a, jo a joint mix very organic. You understand? And they're building their fan base from scratch. That's what you need to do. Build your fan base from scratch. Understand that music is a business and it's not just for jokes. Facts only.